<laughs> anyway, so it is National Women's Month. All right. Uh, National Women's Month. And this morning I got up and went to the black woman who I share, the black woman who I am sharing my life with. You understand me? And I had to... No, I didn't have to Google it. I went to give my wife a big old gigantic hug and a good old pat on the back and look her in her eyes and uh, tell her how proud I am of her. Tell her how much I see her busting her ass for this family, doing for this family, not only for her own career, but for this family, um, pushing me along in my efforts. Because I don't know if there's a lot of women who allow their husband to just get up in the morning and come downstairs and get on the YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and be yelling and shit. She's, uh, she's right up the steps. If you go out the door, there's some steps and she's up the stairs and you know, she has Zoom meetings and everything else, and she has a high in high pressure job. And I'm down here making all this noise, and she accepts it. And I had to go in there and, and give her her flowers. And not just because it's National Women's Month, but because um, I had to tell her how much I appreciate what she does for us. So, fellas, if you have a woman in your life, a woman that you care for, a good woman, make sure you go and tell her how much you appreciate her for what she is doing, especially for your black ass. Google it, bitch, especially for your black ass. You understand what I'm saying? It takes a lot because the same feelings that you feeling, fellas, she feels. You know, we like to think that we don't get on our woman's nerve. You get on her motherfucking nerve. You understand? You understand? You get on your lady's nerves. Just as much as she get on your nerves, the little things that she does, and she be like, God damn, she getting on my nerves. She has a whole list of shit that you do that gets on her motherfucking nerves. You hear me? So, if we are in this together, and if I could, you know, congratulate my, my teammates in real estate or congratulate my homeboy for his new business or, you know, if I could pat somebody else on the back, the first motherfucker I better pat on their back is that lady right there. The first person I better humble myself in front of is that lady right there. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I mean? You... It goes both ways. And I had to let her know this morning. I had to look her in her eyes when I did it too. You know, so she understands that this is in earnest. That I'm not I'm not just saying it in, in passing. Because it's easy just to say like a like a like a card. That's easy to do. But to look somebody in their eyes, when you look somebody in the eyes, either first you gotta come to you gotta come to the honesty within yourself. So that you can be good for her, right? And so I had to tell her this morning, baby, I see you busting your ass. I see you doing your thing over here. I see you holding us down. I came home yesterday for doing all of these events and shit, and the groceries had been bought, the kids had dinner. She helped my son with his project. She took care of her own job. And I, you know what? That's a lot of shit. Fellas, you know, come on, that's a lot of shit. So, my moment of clarity or my Friday sermonette is about appreciating that woman, man. Appreciating that woman and, and telling her today because things could get funky and fucked up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Telling her while I'm feeling it and not holding it back. You know what I mean? As a man, sometimes we, we keep shit to ourselves. I don't want to, I don't, I don't feel like telling her that shit. I don't, I don't want, nah, go tell her, man. Go, go, go give it to her, fellas. 
And don't don't try to give it to her and some dick. I did. <laughs> I did all this without offering some dick. So I think that's the the part I want the fellas to understand. I did. <laughs> I did all this without offering up some dick. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't touch her titties. You know, I didn't squeeze her ass. None of, I didn't do none of that stuff. I didn't do none of it. All I did was went in there, held her hands on some namaste shit. You understand what I'm saying? And let her know that I appreciate her. I love her. I see her doing her thing. You are seen. Fellas, that's the thing you want to. Uh, 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 that's the thing you want to take in. Danny Blanco, learn how to tell your woman that you are seen without it being sexual, Danny. You understand? I see you. I see what you're doing. I'm in, I'm in tune with you, woman. Look her dad in the eye, too, and I was serious in the face. You know what I mean? You, you understand what I mean? And that's what I did for that lady, this woman. So make sure you go do that for your lady. Fellas, it's National Women's Month, but it's you know your your just because it's designated that month doesn't mean this is the time when we got to do that. I know you understand, Danny. I'm just I'm just I'm just uh, fucking with you this morning, but I didn't offer her no dick. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I gave her all the love I could this morning without offering no dick. You saying? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I see you at uh. Comedy in Harlem. I'm in comedy in Harlem next week. You know, I'm now after I did that very uh it was a uh it was a uh a spiritual moment, a, a bonding moment, a moment of she and I. You feel what I mean? As a couple. Because we supposed to be one. Ask it, we are supposed to be one, right? My family tree and her family tree came together. And now we are supposed to be one. And so I did that for her. Now, I'm going to try to offer her dick the rest of the day. Now, <laughs> for the rest of the day, she's going, I'm, she's going, she's going to be bombarded with. <laughs> Google it, bitch. Google it, bitch. She's going to be bombarded <laughs> with <coughs> dick offers. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. She's going to be bombarded with offering. I'm going to be offering up dick for the rest of the day. But I I had to, I had to, uh, 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 I had, yeah, it is fucking Friday. Or oh, fucking Friday. 